Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody tuning into another Super Tease Guide. And in this one, I'm going to be going over Mist Weaver Monk for the first time. I grinded in a bunch of 2v2 games to kind of figure out where I was and then decided to queue up some threes. And I think that this game in particular is going to be helpful to you also playing Mist Weaver in terms of taking the knowledge I gained from it and giving it to you. In this very specific case, the Azurite traits that you want to be running is one cooldown reduction of life cocoon that way when you talent into chrysalis it will be a 55 second cooldown life cocoon the second one you want to run are your enveloping mist azurite traits times two and that's what i am running it's very powerful into frost mages because when they attack with frozen orb it it ticks a lot of times which causes the enveloping mist to heal a lot of times so it's very important against frost mage in particular to have that enveloping mist trait and I opted to go with Surging Mist to get kind of the burst heals to pump up after a long crowd control chain. Now, versing mages is likely to be the most difficult for a Mistweaver. Fortunately, in the composition that I've crafted here with an Elemental Shaman and a Shadow Priest, I bring in a lot of utility to break up that crowd control. And I found this composition to be quite easy, frankly, as a Mistweaver to heal. And you could get a lot done and have a lot of fun with it. And I would recommend it. So at the start of the game, you use the Thunder Focus T. You try to get a fat renewing onto both of your DPS or the targets you expect to be attacked. I use my Life Cocoon here off the Trinket of Blind to neg neglect some of this initial damage from icy veins which you can see on the omni bar that blue icon with a 3m on it that's a powerful cooldown and i've just respected it immediately trading trinket with blind which is a standard trade and then live cocoon i position on top of my team here on the pillar when i see polymorph being casted this way they can't use powerful abilities like comet storm or ice nova without breaking my polymorph i then tell my shaman to preemptively tremor as the priest positioned himself on top of me this will then break the chain of the psychic scream i am now completely on crowd control dr this is when you want to start getting aggressive so i use my paralysis on the priest i use my manatee and then way of the crane rising sun kick and then start jabbing to build up stacks so that i can get a big blackout kick now this team stacked up so i immediately used a triple leg sweep which managed to get us an ice block and really put them far behind so whenever the team is stacked up and you get a triple you definitely want to look for it i then snag a dispel on my shaman ducking in and out of line of sight on the tomb here from where the mage is to avoid being poly and when i sneak back up i line my ring of peace up so when he blinks in for poly it knocks him back and stops the cast on myself and you can use ring of peace quite effectively to stop crowd control on yourself now i'm in a position to use portal to get away from the next crowd control which was a ring of frost off the frost nova so using your portal and your ring of peace against a mage is very important in breaking up the crowd control chains and you have to anticipate it now i'm getting ready for the next attack i'm doing my best to keep renewing mist on everyone just in case they switch and then I get caught in a Psychic Scream I could not avoid. Because I'm crowd control and the enemy team has used a cooldown such as Vendetta, this is when you want to tell your team to use a personal defensive. So in this position as a Shadow Priest, he has Dispersion and he uses that and he basically negates all of the damage. Now once again, I am on crowd control. As you remember, I was Psychic Screamed into a Polymorph. I am on every crowd control diminishing return at this point and this is when you want to look to get aggressive. Because I was falling behind on pressure and Vendetta was still active, I used Life Cocoon to safely push forward and get an incapacitate onto the priest then into a shadow priest horrify unfortunately he is too far away to get a psychic scream i was curious of trying tiger's lust with this composition so i can tiger's lust my priest in range to get fears but because i was on crowd control dr you're going to see that this way of the crane ends up backfiring on me quite heavily i did get one rising sun kick hit on it which may ultimately result in a powerful cooldown but generally against these mage teams you do not want to use way of the crane until you are already on crowd control dr so you've already been feared blinded or polyed this way you can't now my priest is in a kidney shot i see that to the left of his priest frame and i immediately want to start topping him off fortunately for me he blinds me inside of the frozen orb whenever you see a frozen orb on the ground you want to kind of just get your butt into it because any crowd control applied to you is very likely to break and then as soon as you're out of crowd control as a misweaver that's when you're doing the most amount of healing having the most amount of fun so try and position so you can avoid it as such in this position, this was a mistake on my part. I should have repositioned my portal. If I had tried to portal there to avoid Polly, I would have just ported right into his line of sight. Here, I get Pollyed into a Psychic Scream as they line up Schism. I tell my Shaman to peel. He uses Lightning Lasso on the Rogue. That denies some damage while I was crowd controlled. Now I am on Diminishing Return. So I roll forward. I then get a Paralysis onto the Priest. But again, my portal is not in a good position to avoid Polymorph. And it should have been moved a long time ago. We do 
continue the crowd control chain though it's always paralysis stun into silence and you want to chain that together with your shadow priest this composition although it brings a lot of wizard constant damage you need to look for setup so you could see the mage casting poly i kind of predicted his blink and set up my ring of peace to knock his poly cast on myself i then line of sight and this is where i should reposition my portal so that i can then move to the other side of the tomb and portal back if i see a polymorph being casted on myself i still do my best to make sure enveloping is up on the target which is the shadow priest enveloping is your most powerful heal especially against a frost mage you want to make sure that's up before every kidney shot which is available but we have pressure on the mage he's very low health my shaman gets dispelled very far out of my line of sight so i use revival through the pillar to dispel his poly then move in line of sight and because i was blinded earlier and it broke i use my trinket aggressively i'm on crowd control dr i see the enemy team in a double psychic scream which sets me up perfectly to execute the kill with the way of the crane if i use it aggressively and i only used it aggressively there because the mage ran out of ice blocks and if we were able to execute enough damage he's guaranteed to die you don't normally want to use your trinket like that unless you're absolutely guaranteed to get a kill otherwise trinketing blind is generally what you have to trinket against a rogue mage priest team but i really am enjoying mistweaver lately uh, I've been playing a lot of games on it to figure it out because initially I just didn't like it at all because I didn't like Way of the Crane. I didn't know how to make it work, but as soon as I figured out how to make it work, I started having a lot more fun on it, and I'm going to be looking to grind a lot with it. So if you're a Mistweaver player out there, definitely expect quite a few more guides for it. And at the end of this, I hope that you enjoyed the guide. I hope that you got something out of it that you can take away and use yourself. I really had a good time playing this composition in particular with uh, Venruki and Saranis, and I'm hoping to play it again in the future. Uh, if you would like to consider subscribing, please do so to the YouTube channel here because I'm making content every day. Hit the notification bell so that you can see when that video goes live. I'm pumping out videos constantly. I'm streaming on twitch.tv slash supertease. You can follow me on Twitter at supertease. Uh, and I'm looking forward to making more content for you guys. So thank you once again and tune in for the next video.